What's up everybody, this is Yair and today I'm gonna draw Yuya Takahashi's original character. But before we'll start with that, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. So if you guys don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where they have lots of great quality classes and workshops whether it's drawing, coloring, building a brand, and so much more. And of course, the classes fit to your skill level, whether you're a pro or a beginner. Now, I want to recommend a class for you guys, and it's called Mastering Hands, A Beginner's Guide to Draw Hands. It's by Alicia Yetzer. And come on guys, we all know that drawing hands is very difficult and could be very frustrating at times. And I think it's a very good class for beginners just to understand how to approach those hands. And once you're done, you can share your drawings and get a feedback from Alicia. In addition to that, they always launch new premier classes and you get all of that for less than $10 a month. And the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So hurry up and click that link. You got nothing to lose, all to gain. Just check it out for yourselves and support them because support me. Okay, so thanks a lot to Skillshare and now let's get down to business. So in today's video, I want to talk about Yuya Takahashi. So as you guys know, in the Dragon Ball franchise, we got lots of great animators. Personally, my top three are Yuya Takahashi, Tadayoshi Yamamoru and Masahiro Shimanuki. But in today's video, I'm gonna focus on Yuya Takahashi. So if you guys don't know Yuya, He's basically an insane animator with unbelievable skills. As you guys can see on the screen, he animated in Dragon Ball Super the fight versus Jiren, the fight versus Caligula and Kale. And of course, he also animated in Dragon Ball Super Broly. And I mean, just look at those scenes, look at the angles, look at the proportions, look at the accuracy, the emotion he delivers on the facial features. The shading is just superb. I mean, as an animator myself, I know how difficult and almost impossible it is to do what he does. That's like 360, come on, that's crazy. Now, whether he knows it or not, I got lots of inspiration from Yuye over the years. And I just wanted to show my gratitude. I mean, this is the real deal. And fortunately, he has a YouTube channel as well. So I urge you to go to his YouTube channel, subscribe, leave a comment. And in his channel, you can see his original character, Kanye. So as a tribute to Yuye, I decided to draw Kanye and hopefully ship the drawing to Yuye. Now I tried to reach out to him uh, via Instagram, but it didn't really work. So if you guys can tag him in the comment section, I will be more than happy because I mean, just picture him like uh, putting the drawing in his office or something that will be uh, really amazing and I mean, that's awesome, right? So, without further ado, let's get down to business, enjoy the process, and stick with me till the end of the video. Here goes.
let's take a look at the final result. As you can see, we got Kanye, and I tried to give him a very nice perspective using the Japanese gate, I think they are called Tori. For the background, I decided to go with some cold purples and blues, and overall just to get a very nice dynamic pose. And I'm really satisfied with the result. Hopefully Yuye will like it as well. Like I said before, it will be an honor for me to give this drawing as a gift to Yuye and I really hope he can watch this video. And I wanna thank you Yuye for all the inspiration you give me and all of us Dragon Ball Z fans. So thank you Yuye, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And of course, thank you my subscribers. I love you all, keep being awesome and I'll see you on the next video, peace. Na, 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 na. And it's by Alicia. Alicia. Personally, I'm really satisfied. God damn! Yeah, there's a storm outside, but don't let it uh, bother you.